Hey Virginia, how are you? Wasn't it the most beautiful weekend? <clears throat> so, so lovely the weather we had. It was just really luxurious, wasn't it? I think it made everyone feel better, so I hope you had a break. Uh, okay, in many workplaces, online communication is more common than face-to-face. -face. Do the advantages away, disadvantages. And you talked to me about being quick. Okay, <clears throat> um, tricky. The th where you can be quick, I think, is on planning. Um, I don't know how you do your planning, but I think the brainstorming at the beginning of an essay, you need to do that in probably three minutes. So just literally, um, just throw all your ideas on a piece of paper. <clears throat> get a pencil, get a pen, whatever you're happy with. Just put all your ideas out there. Then choose the best and just keep looking back on it during the essay. If you suddenly think, mm, what can I say? That might just give you an idea. But I think you can, to do that bit quickly uh, might help you. Uh, but let's have a look. Uh, recently, company managers have started. Yay, fantastic. You got that right, that present perfect. Brilliant. To address the issue of remote communication and how much it could be beneficial for business. Now, careful. We don't want the. It's in general. When it's in general, we don't have the article. And here, in general, again, it's not all business. It's business in general compared to a direct face-to-face -to -face approach. That Then you do need it. That's good. Some of them, okay, company managers, believe that communicating and information in in person you'd have to say in person either in the presence of colleagues or in person and here watch out we, there's no article there information is it has no plural yeah it is plural anyway if you sort of mean but it has no plural um, I'm gonna put that in actually a different color because that is important to remember so information in person remains the most efficient way to avoid any misinterpretation of the message. Have I strongly disagree? Okay, uh, good, really nice, lovely, good intro. There's ample evidence that virtual communication, whether it, whether via, you'd have to say either whether it is, yeah, because that's your subject, or you can just omit this. You don't need it whether via email, phone or video, is working superbly. Because here's your verb. This is your subject, virtual communication. This is your little relative clause. And then this is your main verb. The central reason for this, that is twofold. Good. Normally we say for this, actually, is twofold. Firstly, businesses, governments and every kind of activity could carry on with the normal duties within a national lockdown. Absolutely. Um, could effectively let's just get a nice adverb in there I mean yeah you we might actually say firstly it has been demonstrated sadly in brackets that uh, da, 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 can effectively carry on with normal duties within a national lockdown therefore this is proven to be a very successful strategy good secondly as the Economist Journal describes another advantage should be that correct communication could be delivered with several types of vector and should not be forgotten. The message has to be clear. Um, let's get these modal verbs right. Another advantage should be is suggesting <clears throat> I mean, I, I kind of think you want to have might be should be is like suggesting that it's not but it should be uh, might be is a more natural one doesn't matter too much should be is okay uh, could be delivered with several types of vector now I think you've had that word before and I think I've said what is that word um, don't know what you mean can you find another word for me um, could be delivered now do you want to mean simultaneously So all oh sorry I mean um, taneously so all at the same time are we do we mean that with several types of vectors should not be forgotten the message has to be clear um, and it should not be forgotten or although it should not or maybe however or maybe while it should not be forgotten that might be quite nice contrasting because you're, you're sort of contrasting, the message must be clear. So yes, it's amazing, but the message must be clear. So while is a very nice connecting word there. Great paragraph, Gina, really, really good paragraph. Although, 
Now, I don't need a comma there. Although some experts are still very skeptical about remote communication, you've got it right there, because it's still unclear if the person who receives the message can fully understand the meaning of it. Ah, not although. You'd have to go however. I'll tell you why. Okay. Although has two parts to it. So in its simplest form, it's although, this is brilliant, there are some problems. Okay. So that's in its very simplest, most basic form. So although one thing, so I'm conceding, we call it concession. Although I'm admitting, I'm agreeing, yes, it's great. Then I'm going, oh, no, sorry, there's still some problems. So this, if you go, although some people are skeptical because it, this is this, you then have to say, most argue that it is a significant uh, development. Uh, so a uh, positive. Uh, so, you if you, do you do you see what I mean? If you're not quite sure, write some practice sentences using although. Um, we need to get this idea of concession. So, although one thing, something else. It's almost like one thing on one hand, one hand thing on the other hand. Um, so, if you're going to use this amazing thing, you have to finish the sentence. This sentence at the moment is hanging. It's not quite finished. If you have, however, it's okay. You can stop there. Um, a recent article declared, now here, how about doing this in the past tense, declared, because this one describes your um, example is in the present tense. Here, put it in the past, that a great part of communication um, is done, so you could put uh, has been done um, by body language and microfacial, which could be extremely difficult to perceive in a virtual meeting, okay, or were done. I, I, I can, just to show, I go past tense there and then were there. Yeah, uh, very nice point. So you need to believe the physical presence of content could improve transmission message. Absolutely. Really, really good. So that's my uh, rubbish in there. I love that. I really, really love that idea. Incredibly clear, this essay. Yeah, I firmly believe it's not the medium selected to deliver efficient, but the meaning, but the clear meaning of the message that makes the difference. Haha. -ha. Uh, absolutely. Importance, just rather than importance, I put relevance and use, usage. I mean, it's, yes, it's importance, but just to get the, um, be a little bit more precise on that one, that sentence, make it, again, make it relevant. Okay. Fantastic. I absolutely love that essay. I mean, for me, you've always written really well. I don't know why you didn't get your seven first time around. I'm so sorry you didn't, because I think you should have done. Um, I don't know what went wrong, but this is very, very good writing. Okay, now you said you were struggling on the words. Okay, if you're struggling on the words, you need to compare. Compare, 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 and group, okay? Um, just thinking of comparison is the most important thing. Uh, the subject preference of German students, okay, that's fine. Overall, the highest appreciation was gained by P in history. Capital letters always on those in English. 22.9, yep, well, the less popular subjects are IT and geography, okay. Even if German students seem not very interested in biology, the results of the survey showed they would rather prefer to study maths. Um, even, now, that's interesting, even though, not even if, even though they're slightly different, but you want even though, seemed not very interested in biology, 7% results of the survey showed they would rather prefer study maths and physics, with both at almost 20% of uh, votes. Okay. In German schools, STEM subjects seem to be very appreciated um, by students, except for biology which gained, um, we don't really gain a percentage, uh, which recorded, uh, which recorded, um, witnessed, uh, was ranked the lowest. Um, any of those would be good, write them down and you can use them again. 
at the lowest percentage. Another word you could have is proportion compared to the other two scientific ones. Uh, let's not use in fact. We don't use that. Now, you've talked about history and PE, but you haven't yet talked about physics and maths. Okay, you talk, oh, maths and physics. So you have, sorry. 22, um, prefer to study the two subjects which were ranked third and fourth. Look, I'm adding in lots of words. Yeah, can't like maths and physics. Okay, so I've added in that. Yeah, almost 20% of votes. Uh, STEM were... Uh, here you could go most appreciated, actually. Most appreciated by students, except for biology, okay, compared to the other two, okay. Um, okay. Um, you see, your comments on biology, I'm a little bit... You see, I would wait and I put bio, I group biology with these these guys, with the low guys. And I group the four together. So the way I would do it is talk about the top two, then talk about the next two, and then say all together they make up 80%, which you do. Then I talk about the lower ones, which are those. So in terms of grouping, for me, the grouping is a little bit confused because I've just got biology in here. Then I've got the rest of the big ones. Um, so for me, that one, that comment, would more, I'm going to underline it, would more logically go into this paragraph here. And then I'd put your here. In contrast, yeah, start with in contrast, not very interested in biology. Um, so group that there. So I put biology plus, and then the others here. Um, exactly. Okay, so then you could go the total votes for these subjects combined, sorry, were, combined were um, and a half that of, or less than half that of whatever, or three times less than that of whatever. So this is the kind of nice, um, structure we're getting when we're comparing. So you're taking some of the information from the lower groups and you're relating it back to the higher groups. Yeah. So if you're short of words, really go for the grouping. So I think that's the biggest issue actually on this one. Think about how you're going to group the data. Uh, one paragraph on one group, one paragraph on another group and link the information back to each other. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> Have a nice evening.